Welcome to Crime Survivors Speak, the newest podcast from Crime Survivors for Safety and Justice. Crime Survivors for Safety and Justice is a national network of over 70,000 crime survivors that are coming together to share our stories, to heal together, and to advocate for a justice system that prioritizes healing, prevention, and recovery over more spending on incarceration. My name is Aswat Thomas. I'm the National Director of Crime Survivors for Safety and Justice. Uh, I grew up in Hartford, Connecticut, uh, and spent most of my childhood in Detroit, Michigan. Um, at the age of 10 years old, I lost my best friend, Reuben Elder, uh, to a drive-by shooting. Uh, when Reuben Elder uh, was shot and killed, uh, there wasn't any grief counselors uh, at my school. Uh, there wasn't any services in the community to help children uh, deal with the loss of someone so close to us and someone uh, so young. Uh, fast forward, uh, I became the uh, first male in my family to ever graduate uh, from college and was also a star college basketball player uh, on my way to play professional basketball overseas. And so for me, uh, 2009 was the highest point uh, in my life. Um, uh, getting ready to accomplish two goals that I worked so hard uh, throughout my entire life were finally about to become true. But unfortunately, on August 24th, uh, 2009, uh, my dreams were shattered when I became a victim of gun violence while leaving a corner store uh, in my neighborhood. Like many victims of violence, I didn't receive any help uh, after that incident. Like my father, who was shot in his chest in the 1980s. Like my brother, who was shot in his back in the 1990s. And like my cousin, who was shot and now paralyzed from the waist down, didn't receive any help either. But what really changed my life was finding out that the young man that shot me also was a victim of gun violence. And his unaddressed trauma uh, played a role with me getting shot years later. And that's what inspired me to get involved with Crime Survivors for Safety and Justice, to share my story, to help organize crime survivors from across this country, from communities most harmed by violence. Those same communities are least supported by the justice system. So we are joining together to share our stories and we are joining together to change policies. I'm excited for you all to be joining us on our newest endeavor, which is the Crime Survivor Speak podcast, where you'll be hearing from crime survivors from across the country, leaders in this movement on how they are healing uh, through action and changing policies. We're going to explore all angles of the issues of criminal justice and crime and violence from the perspective of survivor leaders making change possible. We'll talk about trauma and healing, We'll talk about the solutions that are working better than mass incarceration. We'll talk about organizing for change, and we'll talk to people transforming communities in the aftermath of tragedy. You can tune into the podcast at www.cssj.org. Also available on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and other streaming platforms. Watch the new podcast, Crime Survivor Speaks.